Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining our Fridays for Florida virtual discussion on a new path forward. My name is Alan Ellison and I'm running for the United States Senate to represent your interests in the United States Congress. I'm so happy that you're here with me in 2022. We have a lot to talk about in a very short time frame. A new path forward is not just a campaign slogan. A new path forward is really what America should be uh, on, the course that America should be on. Uh, we want to make sure that we are doing everything in our power to live up to the ideal that uh, we should be building a more perfect union. That means that we need to watch how we communicate about one another. It means watching how we communicate about those who may not necessarily be in our party. It means watching how we communicate about science, how we communicate about policy, how we communicate about politics. Because with the wrong tongue, we can divide people, we can hurt people, and we can tear this country down. But with the right tongue, uh, we can do so much good and we can bring people together. So I just wanted to challenge you on making sure that you are diligent and communicating truth. I also want to make sure that we are looking out for our democracy, which means holding those who work to destroy our democracy accountable. We just came off of the January 6th. Uh, anniversary of the insurrection on our nation's capital and we want to make sure that we are doing everything in our power to keep those uh, held accountable who were in violation of the law who were doing things in our nation's capital uh, that they shouldn't have been doing and so we want to make sure that we are doing everything in our power to bring those individuals to justice and make sure that you know we are holding them accountable we want to make sure that we are uh, having the type of environment that make everyone feel welcome. Sometimes, you know, in America, we can get into our own groups and we can become so divisive in our rhetoric that we fail to realize just how much damage we're doing to our nation. We are better than that as citizens. We are better than that as a people. And we want to live up to those standards that our founding fathers uh, created when they wrote uh, our wonderful work which is the Constitution. Our Constitution is the oldest Constitution in the world, the oldest written codified document in the world that governs our way of life. And we should always strive to make it just a little bit better uh, than it was before we came. We want to make sure that we are standing up for those who are voiceless. One of the reasons that I decided to run for office was because when I looked around this state and when I looked around this country, I realize that there are two groups of people, those who have and those who have not. And it is those who have not that make up the greatest majority and they are in need of a champion. They are in need of advocates. They are in need of a lot. And I want to make sure that they are getting what they need because too often times you have individuals who run for office for personal gain. And once they get in office, those who elected them, those who are in need of leaders, they find themselves still without leaders looking out for their interests. And so we want to make sure that we're doing everything to uplift one another. We want to make sure that we are uh, leading by example. We have children who are watching us. We need to make sure that we are, uh, are having the right type of dialogue, that we are debating on policy and not party, uh, who, what party a person is in because at the end of the day, parties are people made, but policy is what governs our way of life. Policy is what gives us the ideas that, that we have. And so we wanna make sure that we are getting the right type of leaders in the United States Congress who will write policy that will have direct positive impact on the lives of everyone, not just some. We wanna make sure that we are getting people registered to vote. I know that there are uh, at least 150 uh, voter suppression laws that have been written in about 43 states. We need to make sure that we are pushing for, for the People Act, that we are pushing for the John Lewis uh, voting rights bill because every American should have the right to vote. It should not be left up to some. We should all have the right to vote and those votes should be respected. And so we will work towards registering new voters and we will make sure that we are getting people out to vote. This is a midterm election year, and generally speaking, people generally do not come out to vote 
in the numbers that they should during midterm election years. If you want better, you must get out and vote. If you want better, then you must inspire and motivate someone else to get out and vote. We can no longer do the things that we have been doing. If we want different, then we have to do different. And I'm challenging each and every one of you uh, to make this happen. We have so much uh, to do in such a very short time frame. The election is this year, and we need to be electing individuals who have been there working diligently for you, because this is what the new path forward is all about. Not just electing people who make promises about what they are going to do, but electing individuals who have spent a lifetime or time doing the things that they, that they say that they're going to do. And uh, we can make this happen. I believe that an educated voter is a better voter. An educated voter will usually vote for the best possible representation. And I'm challenging each and every one of you to uh, read up on these candidates, uh, become knowledgeable about policy, hold leaders accountable, and let's, let's really uh, be about building this country in such a way that it is better, that it is stronger, and it is more united. Thank you all so much for joining us for our Fridays for Florida. Uh, please join me on Twitter at 730 because I plan to answer questions uh, in, a, in under an hour uh, because what's what we call the power hour. So as, if you have questions, please join us over there and I'll be happy to answer any question that you might have. Thank you so much again. My name is Alan Ellison running for the United States Senate to represent your interests in the United States Congress. Thank you.